My name is Daniel uh, Bistrom and uh, I have a company, an industrial designer. My company is named Design Nation. We live in uh, Design Nation in Sweden. Um, and uh, I am industrial designer, as I said, uh, and I'm also a chairman in the Sveriges Designer, the Swedish Association of Designers. And uh, we work uh, for, for the design business in, in Sweden and our members are industrial designers, graphic designers, gra designers from all disciplines. Uh, before we, we were only industrial designers, but uh, from 2005 uh, we are, we are uh, Swedish designers because we work in the interdisciplinary with design nowadays. Uh, so that's the trend and uh, we also work in, uh, in, in the European uh, organization, the Bureau of European Design Associations and uh, Nordic Design Impact is a uh, common organization together with uh, the other Nordic uh, design organizations <coughs> that we have uh, set up last year actually. So we work together with them now as well. And uh, I will talk about uh, design from different approaches. Uh, there are a lot to say about design. Uh, I work. Uh, I, I will talk more about uh, what I, how I work with design, and I, I work with design in, in many perspectives. Not only industrial design and product development, and but also graphic design and brand development. But also the most, uh, the project that I like to work with mostly is always involved, involving people. Uh, very much uh, working together with people, not at least when I work with destination design. And I used to uh, work and, uh, and tell people more about how how you can work with destination design, how to do it, what is it, and and why, and stuff like that. And some uh, examples of of uh, architectural uh, work and destination building is uh, from Norway here where I work with the uh, national tourist routes. Uh, I, I will uh, say uh, before now that I, I, am, um, I always have a lot of pictures. So uh, I have 15 minutes, I will have it. <laughs> but uh, I, love, uh, I like to have a lot of pictures. Uh, uh, here are more examples, the beautiful examples. I think they have done a lot of beautiful architectural work in, in Norway in the last 10, 15 years in Oslo and, and all around the, the country. So they are really successful on, on this destination building um, to, to work with design and architecture. Um, and also in Sweden, as, uh, from uh, from north of Sweden, a tree hotel is uh, quite fantastic, I think. The crazy idea is like uh, ice hotel, and this is like a crazy idea to, to build a hotel rooms in, in the wood, in a, up in the trees, and it's very successful. And this is a mirror cube up in the, in the forest. Uh, this is a branding, uh, yeah, um, branding, uh, project, uh, a very clever one from Nordkeen in, in north of Nor Norway, as far north you can come. Uh, and, and I think they are, they are good at uh, working with telling the stories, to uh, storytelling, where the nature rules. Uh, um, and uh, you can also see that in, in the logo, that always show the wind direction and the temperature, so it's always some kind of story they tell. So it's very clever and it, com it comes from the, the snowflake, the, the, the shape of that logo. Åre um, is maybe one of the most uh, talk most about, about in Sweden when you talk about destination design. It's very much Åre, Åre all the time and we should work as Åre uh, here uh, in many places when I come there. And, and I, I feel that can be a bit of a problem that mm. everyone uh, are uh, comparing themselves uh, with Åre that is more like a brand for the, that ski resort. For example, I mean municipalities and uh, it's, it's a lot about taking care of the people that, that lives there, I think. 
So Ore is also one of those. Uh, but uh, of course there is uh, this uh, kind of uh, telling a story and, and make some kind of experience. And then you can use design as a tool and design the design process as a tool. And, and it must involve a lot of people to build a, a destination and to build these experiences, good experiences of the place. So it's a food and senses, all senses, telling a story. But it could also be that my, uh, I try to think that every day when I <laughs> wake up, that design is the solution. It's a solution, it sounds silly almost, but for me design can save the world. That's my approach. And uh, I mean, uh, why couldn't we? I mean, uh, we could be a part of, of doing things better. And to have that aim, I think it's, it feels better in my stomach to, to work that way and, and to work sustainable and, and uh, together <coughs> with people and take care of all needs when working. Because that's what design is very much about, to engage people and take care, take care of their needs. Uh, and uh, to bring creativity to to uh, to the development of, of new processes and, and stuff. Yelvare, um, as I said, uh, that's a good example, I think, uh, because in Yelvare we we had this uh, uh, challenge to move a city, or it was only Manberg, not that big. <laughs> in two weeks. Uh, but here you can say, see the pit that uh, more like the hole uh, that where the it's undermined the the ground. So this is part has fallen into, um, yeah. And uh, and uh, people still lives here in Manberg. Yet. And uh, when we when we made this uh, workshop for two weeks, we stayed in Manberg yet, and we felt like yeah, how it is to, to actually live there. And we, we stayed just next to this this hole in the ground, and we felt every night the what do you say explosions Explosion. from from the mining every night around 12, wow. one o'clock, and I I mean there were oh sorry <laughs> I hope it won't ring uh, but uh, uh, there was people that that was part of this workshop that come from Chile and stuff like that that say that. Never felt that uh, never been at a place where people are so suppressed as here, <laughs> and I felt like, whoa, this is Sweden. <laughs> I f I felt ash ashamed, yeah. actually. And uh, we we were put into this sport arena, and they built it to to this big uh, workshop uh, for us to sit in and work. The first thing that happened was that all of us designers and not only the designers, but we just left the building. We have to, to talk with the people because we can't sit here and just <laughs> draw a new town, a new city. Uh, we have to, to take care of the needs and, and listen. So the big challenge was moved from moving a city to move people. Uh, so we uh, started an engagement in this place that uh, that's still going on, of mm -hmm. course. But I felt like the the big uh, the big uh, result from us was to to really start something up with people that 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 they were also uh, taking part of this process, were allowed to it. I worked on on small. I think this is a nice, uh, interesting project on East Iceland. This is small communities and communities that tends to, to die uh, out because they had a flowering uh, and um, a lot of people live there because they, they have uh, had um, the fish uh, uh, industry for example and military from the US military bases and, uh, and stuff like that and uh, uh, but many many empty buildings are there now and uh, nowadays it's about 12,000 people living on East Iceland, but I've never been at a place where, where the creativity is so strong as in East Iceland. Uh, that was the aim to do something, to, to gather the creativity of this place and, and, and see what we can do together. So the result there was more like a, a model of how we can work together. And, and that's also 
a result of a design process, not only the, the shapes and, and forms and, and colors mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it could be like a system on how we can work together. Um, I've also been now, actually, I, this summer I went to Utah uh, because there there was this, I met people on, on Iceland that took part of this end conference that said that we have to do something in Utah because in Utah, when I change the color here, you can see it's almost gray, the, the, the forest, because of, of uh, the, the forests are dying because of the climate change and, and also bugs and, and stuff that that uh, destroys the forest and uh, that's also some, something has something to do with the community how the knowledge about the forest and also it's a, a mono uh, economical culture uh, from the oil and gas industry so also this problem of um, small cities that are dying and and tend to die out and declining <coughs> um, so this is a project that we call Designers and Forests and it's really very much about this to design is the solution, design can save <laughs> the world. Uh, so I like it a lot and uh, this is from when people from Utah came to us in Sweden. We traveled around uh, Småland uh, to look at different um, wood manufacturers uh, for furniture and housing and also how we work with, uh, with forests here in Sweden and it's not all that good in Sweden. We have a lot of industrial forests in Sweden so it's not always sustainable in Sweden but that's also something with the aim how we work with, with forests uh, not only in Utah or in Småland but in a global perspective. So this has grown to a global or more international group on how we can work with wood as material, more sustainable. So here is some, this is uh, this design process going on. We are out in the, in, the, in the forest and we analyze and ask questions to the US Forest Service. Uh, we have workshop out in, in the nature, uh, <coughs> make maps, um, or hard to follow right now, but uh, post-its of course and uh, one result is to really use maybe the, the wood you can't see really right now that this is more like grayish bluish the wood but there's nothing wrong on it otherwise you could use it but uh, <coughs> the market says no because it has to be in Sweden at least it has to be all white uh, clean wood but this is actually really beautiful this grayish wood so if we can do products from from this wood uh, there is a winning as well mm. uh, this is quite fantastic in in the middle of nowhere there uh, there is a small town called uh, green river and this uh, maria and her husband maria is designer and her husband is architect they travel through this small town uh, they went by train and they saw this uh, this is a small declining town we have to move here <laughs> and help them <laughs> so they moved there and uh, now there are seven people that works in this building and they do project together projects together with the uh, locals in in green river to restore and rebuild and make things better and, and uh, yeah make it more healthier this community and it has lo happened a lot there so fantastic yeah so I will I will uh, finish up here I think that designers possess more than, a, uh, than simply an ability to style products they are practitioners of an applied process of creative skills identifying problems researching analyzing evaluating synthesizing and then conceptualizing testing and communicating solutions and that's what I call community design so that is I don't know if I if you heard that expression before but I have uh, talked a lot about this uh, community design because I think it's it's uh, it's something about how you really address to design how we work to design together as a community mm -hmm. 
and involves the community when working with design. And there are different fantastic tools that you can use in this process. Uh, not only design tools, but mm. tools from everywhere. So design isn't a unique tool that is a fantastic uh, mean process that you can apply on everywhere, but it's, it's a mindset to work creative and uh, to visualize together. Thank you.